everybody had a good summer. I know that uh, we have here at the university. Uh, our guys have done a really good job academically. Coach Fitz and his staff uh, have have laid out a, a, a plan for us to follow. And during the summertime, our guys have really done a nice job executing it. Uh, Rachel and her staff, we've had lots of guys that really needed to change their bodies uh, over the course of the summer, which is not unusual when you have um, a lot of newcomers. So guys worked really hard to do that. You know, it's fall camp. Um, you know, I'm sitting here last night reflecting on it. You know, uh, I don't know the exact number of how many fall camps this is for me, but I know one thing, it's, it's for me, is the most exciting part of the year. Um, you get an opportunity to to take 110 young men and you, you throw in the coaching staff and everybody that's involved and you get a chance to create a team. Uh, and, you know, nobody knows what that team's going to be. Uh, you got to create your identity. You got to come together. Uh, and there's lots of things that go into fall camp. It's one of the few times that there's not as many restrictions uh, when it comes to the time that you can spend with your players. Um, just talking to you know, our team, our coaches, you know, one thing that we really need to focus on in fall camp is just hardcore fundamentals. Uh, you know, knowing what to do, how to do it, why it's important to do it that way. Um, you know, I've never been around a really good football player or, or, a, or a great team uh, if they didn't have toughness. Um, you know, physical, mental toughness, uh, it's something that uh, you, you've got to train that way. You, you've got to do it. It's got to become a habit for you uh, and something that we really need to focus on. You know, um, when you talk about winning football games, the first thing that you you got to be able to do, you can't beat yourself. You know, uh, General Neyland's maxims, you know, the team that makes the fewest mistakes will win, right? So uh, something that we've really got to focus on is, is we got to become a smart football team. Uh, got to know what to do. Um, got to be able to do it, got to be able to execute um, consistently and being able to do it over and over again, which goes back to practice habits. And that's something that we really got to focus on um, in this fall camp. One thing to me is just just the ball, the ball in itself. I was doing a little bit of a, looking at some uh, interesting notes um, this off season. And you know, if, you, if you're an offensive team and uh, you, you don't turn the ball over last year in Power Five. You have a 73% chance to win the game. If you turn the ball over one time, it's 51% chance. So if you start putting all that together, uh, how important is the ball in itself? Uh, you know, so offensively being able to secure the football, uh, defensively being able uh, to to be opportunistic, to be able to get the ball off people. Uh, so something that we really need to focus on in this camp. You know, there's going to be lots of competition. Um, really, for probably, it's going to be the most competition uh, since we've been here. Uh, we're excited about that. I think our players are excited about it. Um, we've got to create some depth. You know, if you look across our, our uh, roster, uh, there's lots of talented guys. Many of them have never participated in a college football game where they played very little. Uh, so, hey, that's why they came here for the opportunity to play for one of the best universities in all of college football uh, and to play in one of the best leagues. So, you know, the only way you're going to gain experience is to get out there and to play. Uh, but we've got 28 practices uh, before we play our first game. So they're going to have uh, lots of opportunities to learn how to play. So with that, I'll take any questions.